Well, hello, kids of Living Grace Community Church. It's Friday, and I'm so glad to have an opportunity today to share some thoughts with you. Now, I know this is also the last Friday of June, so be sure to have a great summer. I miss you. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Now, last week, if you watched my video, I talked about something that's very special, very cool, that actually was wood, but it sits in my office, and it's a piece of petrified wood. And there's two parts of this, but I just brought the one this time, and uh, you can see it's really beautiful. And uh, actually, though it once was wood, pretty obvious now, it's really more rock than it is wood, but it's very, very cool. Well, I actually brought a couple of rocks with me, and I promise you they're not uh, petrified wood. They're just rocks. You can see them here. Here they are. And... Um, you know, they're very also actually very cool and very interesting. Do you know why they're very cool and very interesting? Well, they've been cut in half. And when you turn them over, what do you see? Look real close. You see that one? Especially like this one. Look at that. It's full of crystals. These are geodes, of course. And they're really, really pretty special. Now, I'm a pastor. I'm not a geologist. But it's obvious that at some point... Uh, these rocks were uh, had gas in them or with some way were ho was hollow and then crystals formed inside of the rock you cut them in half and this is what you get now this one in particular is kind of special to me because my grandson and I uh, we cracked it open at a rock shop and I have the one half and he has the other half so that's really kind of cool for us but but when I think about these they also remind me uh, about something very important and, and that is what is what's on the inside is absolutely essential. Now, you may remember the story of David. Uh, David was a shepherd. And uh, he was anointed to be the next king of Israel. But it almost didn't happen. Do you remember the story? The prophet Samuel had been told by God that he was dissatisfied um, with King Saul. And that God was going to replace him. So he told him to go to the home of a man by the name of Jesse, who had eight sons. And one of those sons was going to be the next king of Israel. And when they came, the, the was normal in that day. The first one for Samuel to see was the oldest son. And he was impressive looking. And Samuel thought, oh, he must be the guy. And God said, oh, no, no, he's not the right one. So they brought the second one in, and God said no. And the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh. And finally, uh, Samuel says, are these all your sons? He goes, well, there's one more. The youngest is a shepherd. We said, we're not doing anything more to you. Bring him here. And so they went and got David and brought him back. And God says, he's the one. Now, what made the difference? In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 6 and 7, and this comes... Uh, you know, when Samuel saw the oldest brother, it says that when they arrived, talking about the sons of Jesse, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the king. The one is to be anointed the next king of Israel. But the Lord said to Samuel, listen to what he says, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And that's so important for us to remember. And there's really a couple of really important lessons for us to learn. One is, it's not good enough to look good on the outside. It's not good enough to maybe impress people with uh, you know, your looks or your, your skills or all those things. What's really, really important is what's on the inside. It's your character. And another lesson from this is, and while it's, there's obviously nothing wrong with being cute or handsome, uh, what really matters is, is what's on the inside. It's your character. It's who you are as a person. It's how you desire to love and obey God. It's one who wants to please him. That's what's on the inside. And that's so important because over time, 
I know it's hard to believe when you're a little uh, little boy or a little girl, you're going to get older and you'll become an adult. And, uh, and as you grow older, you know what? Your hair gets gray and, and you get wrinkles and that kind of thing happens. And you're not as handsome or as cute as you were when you were younger. But what really matters is what your heart is like. What's on the inside? Because that can be beautiful for your whole entire life. And that's why God wants you to focus on what's on the inside, to make sure that that stays beautiful in his sight. So let's pray for that in our lives. Lord Jesus, thank you for our kids. I pray that as they think about the importance of the inside, that they would really t say, Lord, I, I want to make sure that my heart, what you see, is what really matters. Help me to love you. Help me to obey you. Help me to be a person that, that has the values that you have so that I might be like Jesus. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to um, help us to grow, help us to change, and help us to be the very best that we can be for you. And we pray this in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Well, kids, it's been great spending some time with you. I hope that's been helpful to you. Remember, focus on the inside because to God, that's what really matters.